activewear company that recycles coffee beans and fishing nets into clothes on today's In This Together, presented by Amazon. Hey y'all and welcome to In This Together, I'm Alejandro Alba. We're all familiar with the phrase reduce, reuse, recycle, but there are some companies out there that go above and beyond to take the idea to the next level. 512 Apparel's co-founder Brooklyn Gold Bradbury uses her love for the outdoors and being active as an opportunity to rethink how we look at athletic wear. Myself and one of our other co-founders, Allison, we were both collegiate athletes. We were very particular about what we were wearing, how it functioned, how it fit, if it was comfortable, you know, where the seams were, all of the details. And then not only, you know, having opinions about how the, the gear fit, also being from the Northwest and understanding, you know, our, our natural resources and how they need to be preserved and, and how we could do better. It kind of created this, this project for us and then we went full steam ahead. Our mission is ultimately to change the way that people view waste through our ethical and our planet-friendly production. So we take all post-consumable recycled materials and convert it into really technical material and really great quality active wear. The company works with different recycling plants to source the creative materials needed to make each garment. So we currently are using um, uh, recycled coffee grounds, recycled melted down water bottles. We have a collection of backpacks and gear bags that are made from recycled windshields. And then our most recent collection last year was our OC collection, which utilizes um, collected recycled ghost fishing nets and ocean plastics out of the Pacific garbage patch. Each post-consumable material brings an, uh, an additional property to our clothing. So the recycled coffee grounds keeps everything totally odor controlled. That's coffee's natural property. Um, the recycled melted down water bottles allows a lot of our products to be totally hydrophobic and water resistant. And then even those that aren't, like this jacket that I'm wearing, this is um, recycled fishing nets. Um, it keeps it moisture managed. A lot of people don't realize how much wildlife is killed annually by the ghost nets that are floating that get cut from boats. Um, and so there's some really great organizations that go out there with you know big ships and they clean up those fishing nets and then we're able to again repurpose, reuse. And also the plastics and the garbage that are floating within that patch as well. So we're able to take it all in, melt it down and repurpose it, which has been really cool. Brooklyn and her co-founder Allison want to raise awareness for the stress fast fashion can put on the environment. If you start to look into it, how much material and how much water and how many um how much just is just wasted and how much is you know thrown away and in poor quality fashion that you only get five or six wares out of before you have to toss it and we knew that this was a huge issue so we've been really intentional that we use all sustainable production methods which means no burning no cheap toxic uh, materials we've been really really careful as to how not only what we use you know, the materials that we use to create the fabric, but how we create it, how we dye it, how we sew it, everything, how we how we source it. Um, and so there's, you know, it's definitely hard. I think as a company, you could easily cut corners, buy a little bit cheaper, do everything a little bit quicker and cheaper. But when you are sustainably and planet focused, you really want to make sure that you're doing things right and you're not adding, you know, fuel to the fire. The team at 512 Apparel hopes to continue finding innovative ways to create their products while making a positive impact on the environment and their community. We have some new garments coming out, some that are going to be made with biodegradable yarn. Um, they're going to have, um, you know, continue with our water conservation efforts, continue with our recycling, working with recycling plants and how, you know, how we can use different materials. We really value giving back even to other organizations that have similar missions as we do. Um, we, for instance, if you visit our website, every purchase will donate 5% to an organization um, and we allow consumers to choose which of the three that we support. Um, so we just think that that's so important, not just focusing solely on our own brand, but also branching out and supporting those who are like-minded and, and, and working towards the same thing that we are. When we first started, had no idea what you could create with what's already been used and um, how you could recycle and how you could repurpose. And also learning so much about the apparel industry and unfortunately some of the negative aspects of it, but also how that, you know, how we can remedy that and um, being able to teach, you know, and share with others because a lot of people have, you know, they love the idea of sustainable fashion. They love the idea of shopping ethically, but not everybody knows exactly how to do it. Um, so it's been just a really fun journey, not only learning myself, but sharing the, you know, sharing the information with others. Thanks to Amazon for sponsoring this episode as part of their mission to reduce their impact on the environment. Head over to www.aboutamazon.com forward slash planet to learn more about their plan to be net zero carbon by 2040. 
That's it for today. I hope you're doing well and making the most out of these times. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, we're all in this together.